Here's a quick start on how to create a 3D story on the 3D Experience platform. First, you click the 3D Story app to launch it. Once it's up and running, select the template of where you want to start. In this case, we'll start off with a blank template. Once you do that, you will then select the community you want to be saving in for your 3D Story. Now, once it's created, you then can pick the actual template to start. In this case, we're going to select the Getting Started template. Now that's been added to our 3D store. We can go through and adjust the, our font or theme if we want. In this case, we use the plus on the right side to add an additional scene. We can use the scene layout to set up our divisions of our different cells of our scene. In this case, we're going to use just the single divider at the top for our title box. Then we'll select the theme icon and then adjust the color for the theme of our slide. Go through and select the T for text icon, and then when we get our text, we'll go to title and drag and drop it into the top division of our scene. Select the text to edit it, and then type in the title you want to use for the scene. Adjust the properties of the text, and then center it in the middle of the screen. Click on the 3D icon, and then go to the 3D library. We're going to drag and insert an existing 3D object from the 3D library, but you can use any 3D model that's stored on the platform. Adjust the properties of the model being displayed on the scene. Add an additional scene, then we'll use the tool icons that are provided in the center of the scene to split it in half and adjust the size. Then we'll go to our text option toolbar and then go and place the title just as we did earlier in the before scene. Then we'll select the properties we want and we'll type out media. Select the video icon on the left, and then we'll take one of our videos from the video library and drag and drop in this sewing machine, and then I'll edit the properties to see how the video runs. After I adjust the properties, I'm gonna go through and add additional video to it by splitting the screen again with the split scene, so it'll be two equal halves, and then drag and drop another video in of a animation of the sewing machine. Editing the properties, I'm going to go through and make it so that it will continue playing and not start automatically when the scene comes up. I'm going to go through and duplicate the scene this time instead of creating a new one from scratch, which will copy both the scene properties and both videos at the same time. Go through, move both videos, then I'll select the images icon and then drag and drop in an image. Go through and add the dividers back horizontally. I'll add one and then I'll add a third one to once again horizontally divide a screen into three sections. I'll adjust the size to what I like and then I'll add a second image to the middle divider. Then once that's done, I will make some property adjustments of where it's centering the image. Then I'll do the same for my bottom image so it has the right effect. Change the title of my scene to photo and adjust the properties to be the right color. Under color theme, which then adjust it to be set to the whole entire palette for the scene. Let's go through and preview our 3D story by hitting the play button. And then we can go to each slide by hitting the next arrow on the right. Now that we're at the 3D model, we can actually interact with it using our middle mouse button to zoom in and pan just as if it was a preview window. Then we can go on to our next slide and as our see our media slide and our animation on the right starts automatically as the one on the left, we actually have to hit play as we set the properties earlier when we created this slide. Now we come to our final slide, which is both photos that looks great. So we're all set and ready to publish. So if we go to the arrow, we can actually save the draft to go back and look at it later. If we want to make any additional changes, but when we're done, we're going to go ahead now and publish it to our community to be able to share with all our other colleagues to interact with the great story that we just created. Now with the story published to our community, anybody can go through, hit the play button, and interact with the content we created just as we saw in the preview earlier with the 3D model and each media scene that has been created to present our ideas and information to everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this tech tip.